Hello, my name is Jitters and welcome back to another Valorant video. Today I wanted to have a discussion about the Valorant rank system and whether or not it needs a roll queue. I'm going to be explaining what a roll queue is, why Valorant would benefit from some sort of a roll queue, and then finally I'm going to explain why I think a roll queue system would not work in Valorant by comparing it to other games that have one. So to start, what is a roll queue? Basically a roll queue allows players to identify one or two roles that they wish to play before joining a queue for a game and therefore are able to get that role in their games more often. This is generally good for a few reasons. It allows for more balanced team comps since each player is given a role and it makes sure that players are comfortable on the role that they lock in. So now that we have a basic idea of what a role queue is, why would Valorant need one? Well, one thing that's required in a game to have a role queue system is the presence of some sort of classes or positions in the game. In Valorant, we currently have duelists, sentinels, initiators, and controllers. So at first glance, it would seem that a role queue would fit right in. But just because a game has defined roles and can theoretically have a role queue doesn't necessarily mean it should have one. So what are some reasons why a role queue would be beneficial? The first reason I'm going to talk about is that there are a lot of duels mains in Valorant more than any other role. This causes unbalanced teams because if you get in a game where there are 3 or 4 duelist mains on your team, you end up in a situation where you have too many duelists to play the game properly. Or one of the duelist mains is forced to play a role they aren't comfortable playing, becoming a detriment to your team. This is arguably worse, especially depending on the role that player has to fill. This is because some of the most common duelists are arguably the easiest agents to play in the game because of the inherent 1v1 strength built into their kits and the general straightforwardness of their abilities. So when a player that's used to playing duelists and having flashes or heals to help them win fights is forced to play an agent like Sova, it becomes much harder for them to have the same impact. Not to mention smokes. We've all had that controller on our team that has no idea what to smoke or when to smoke. Sometimes not even smoking at all. A lot of the time it's very likely that the reason the smoke agent is playing so poorly is because they're a duelist main that just got stuck on smokes. This not only makes it hard for them to have an impact, but actively makes it harder for your entire team to play well. With a roll queue system, there would be much higher likelihood of having balanced team comps every time you queue up for a game. Another reason that a roll queue system would be beneficial in Valorant is because it would force players to adopt a secondary role. Too many players in the game main a singular role and aren't flexible enough to play anything else if their team needs it, which causes problems if you have too many players that main the same role on the same team. But let's say if before you queued up for a game you had to choose between two roles you want to play and you were likely to get one of them. This would force players to get comfortable with more than one role and become more well-rounded players. Duelist mains would have to adopt a secondary role and some would pick Sentinel, some would pick Controller, and some would pick Initiator, but at least those players would be able to play a secondary role more to get comfortable on it. Now those same games that had 4 duelist mains where 2 filled roles they couldn't play, you'd have 4 duelist mains where 2 of them could play Controller pretty well and the other 2 could play Sentinel pretty well. The final reason that I think a role queue would be beneficial in Valorant is because it gives players who want to play duelists but always feel like they have to fill an opportunity to play the role. I think that of the non-duelist mains, a lot of them do actually enjoy playing the role and wish they could play it more. Well if there was a role queue, those players would be able to play duelists more often without having to worry about not having a smoker or a sentinel or having a player who has no idea how to play them. They could more confidently play duelist knowing that the players playing those roles probably selected it as a secondary role and are at least a little bit comfortable on it. So I've gone through a few reasons for why a role queue system would be beneficial, but now I'm about to get into why one wouldn't work in a game like Valorant. But before that, did you guys know that a majority of the viewers watching my videos are not subscribed? So please, if you enjoyed the videos, it would mean a lot. Just click that little subscribe button, hit the bell, it's free. You get to see all of my new videos as soon as they come out. And who knows, maybe one day I'll even activate Windows and you definitely don't wanna miss that. Anyways, let's get back to the video. I believe that implementing a role queue in Valorant just fundamentally wouldn't work. And I'm gonna give you a few reasons why. I'm gonna start by comparing Valorant to a game like League of Legends. In League, you can queue up for any two of its five roles. Top lane, jungle, mid lane, bot lane, or support. The reason League is so much different than a game like Valorant is because the roles in League designate where you'll be playing on the map and not necessarily the types of characters you can pick. For example, if you get put into mid lane, you could play a mage, a marksman, a tank, an assassin, and the list goes on. A champion in League could be designed with a specific role in mind but still be playable in multiple roles and that's very common in League. In Valorant, that doesn't really work for the most part. You can't say, hey, I'm playing controller, and then lock in Jet just because she has smokes. So the fundamental difference in a game like League of Legends compared to Valorant is that the role queue system would limit the number of agents you can play in Valorant, where it doesn't necessarily limit your selection of champions in League. Now, what about a game like Overwatch? That game has a role queue and their system limits the heroes you can play. Well, the difference between a game like Overwatch and Valorant is that the actual team comp in a game like Overwatch is far more important than in a game like Valorant when it comes to solo queue. In solo queue, if you have an unbalanced team with too many DPS 
or only one support, or no tanks, the game becomes basically unplayable and an auto loss. This is because although util is very important in Valorant, it isn't nearly as important as abilities in Overwatch. This is due to the power level of the abilities in Overwatch being way higher, and the game has a larger focus on using these abilities effectively to win teamfights, compared to Valorant where there's a higher focus on gunplay. Not to say that util isn't important in Valorant because it most certainly is, but that the main focus in Valorant is the gunplay. This is a big point because it means that the characters you choose to play have way more impact in a game like Overwatch than in Valorant. You can win a game in Overwatch solely based on the hero you chose to play because you hard counter an enemy's pick so much that they can't beat you. In Valorant, you can still win a game where your team is unbalanced because even if you don't have a Sentinel, your third duelist could still get 2 kills every round on defense and you could still win the game. Yes, in games with 3, 4, or even 5 duelists, it becomes a lot harder to win, but you can still come out on top a decent amount of the time if your team plays well. So because of this, a roll queue wouldn't be as important in a game like Valorant. Another point I wanted to bring up is that the meta comps in Valorant don't always fit some arbitrary balance. For example, we've had metas where 3 duelists was the strongest comp. There have been pro teams that have run both Breach and Sky at the same time on split, and sometimes agents can be balanced in ways where they don't necessarily fit the roles they are placed into. For example, Viper is currently being played a lot on certain maps in pro play, but she isn't played as the primary smoke, but more as a strong post plan agent that's really hard to push on defense. So almost like a mix between a controller and a sentinel. In all of these situations, if a roll queue existed, we wouldn't be able to have comps like this come up. An agent like Viper would have likely not seen much play even after her buffs, because as strong as her utility is defensively, most teams would not want to sacrifice a real controller for her on most maps. But because she can be played alongside another controller, she's able to see play. Another reason for why a roll queue system would not be beneficial in Valorant is queue times. One thing that's common in games with a roll queue is higher queue times. Valorant players are lucky because most ranks don't need to worry about waiting a long time to get into a game, but if a roll queue was implemented, this could change. Sure, players that main roles like controllers, sentinels, and even initiators wouldn't really see a difference, duelist mains would see a huge spike in their queue times. This is because with so many duelist mains in the game, it becomes harder to create lobbies where you have to take players' role preferences into account. For every two duelist mains in a lobby, you need to find one player for each of the other roles, and it might not always be easy for the matchmaking system to do that. So yes, players could queue up and guarantee that they would get their duelist role, but it would be at the cost of potentially higher queue times. My final reason for why roll queue just wouldn't work in Valorant is because there just aren't enough agents in the game yet. If you queue up in a game and get placed in the initiator or sentinel role, you only get a choice between one of three agents. Even if you get duelist, you still only have five agents to choose from. So until there are many more agents in the game, a roll queue system would just be too limiting for players. So these are my main points for why a roll queue wouldn't work in Valorant. Not to say that a roll queue would never or could never come, but in its current state I don't think it would be really possible or even beneficial for the game. I think that the conditions that would have to be met for Valorant to benefit from a roll queue are Abilities in the game would have to become power crept enough to the point where they become a large enough focus where team comp matters more than it currently does. The meta in Valorant would have to get to a point where it's stable enough that everyone agrees that some form of comp like 2 duelists, 1 controller, 1 sentinel, and 1 initiator is the best comp by far to the point where playing anything else becomes a detriment to the average player's games. And finally, there needs to be many more agents introduced into the game to allow for enough options for players within each role. But until this happens, I don't think that a role queue system would fit in a game like Valorant, nor is it necessary in the game's current state. Please let me know what you thought of the video. If you agree or disagree with any of my points, please leave a comment letting me know. And if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe for more Valorant related content.